like having the students do this part on paper was fine, wow. categorizing it, and having them jot down their answers on the computer for the other elements were just fine. fine. Okay. Blended learning is essentially the combination of in-person teaching with technology. And so in my classroom, the, I guess the most basic form of blended learning is we use Schoology. That's a platform that we use across campus. About 99% of my students' assignments are completed on Schoology, so they use Google Docs, Slides, um, they also use uh, tools like Edpuzzle, we've used CommonLit before, um, things like that. And so it's a combination of my teaching them, my lecturing, you know this. bringing new concepts to them, and then them using those platforms to complete assignments or to do activities. It's beneficial for me because I could do the work quicker and more, it's more accessible and it's just easier for me to complete everything all at once and all at different times. We use mostly technology in her class. There's not a lot of paper assignments. Everything mostly can be found online. And we use laptops, our phones, anything we can use as sources of information. I think it's easier that way because it allows us to communicate instantly, constantly going back and forth. And then as kids who didn't go to school last year, we were already used to technology. So it would have been very weird if they just took that completely away from us and our generation is really addicted to technology, so that was like, would have been weird not to use it. They'll finish it, we'll check it on their personal computers, and then we'll give them a marker, and then they'll come up here, and each kid will, that we choose, each student will then fill in one. So it's cold calling cold some call. spring way, yeah. Yeah. but it's also, yeah. but it's also allowing them to do it digitally and write and show the class, and then we can check things individually, and that usually works pretty well. One of the the benefits, if you will, of coming out of um, hybrid learning from last year, a lot of our teachers had to adapt and change the way they were teaching. And one of those ways was to integrate more technology into their instruction, because they had to. Um, and so uh, we have been working on not throwing all of that that good stuff away and bringing more of it back into the classroom, now that all of our students are here um, in face-to-face. -face. When we came back from COVID uh, that first day, I did walking around the school, I did tear up, just seeing them, sorry, just seeing them interact. Um, I'm a teacher at heart, and I think one of the things that I always enjoy seeing is just that joy of learning. <laughs> My role on the campus is to genuinely support the teachers in their endeavor to implement blended learning and literacy strategies into their classroom environment. A lot of the blended learning systems that we're doing is that students are activating these things in, on their computers and we're going through it as a group and then they're actually finishing all the documents. We're all here as a team to encourage and cheer each other on. We do have a great, great curriculum instructional team as well. Our coaches here do that work and they do a good job too at supporting those teachers. Sometimes change can be a little bit scary, but when we remind ourselves that change is necessary to grow, it really does help us move towards that success. So you're gonna see that in the videos. I'm gonna show you two quick clips. I really like the concept of blended because I got we got to the point during the pandemic where it was too much, you know, and so it's nice it's nice now to be able to pick and choose and say we can do th this does work in the classroom with the kids present and then we can stop and we can do something else and then come back to other technology and then to keep it changing and to keep it like varied. Okay. I feel like they were engaged because there's a rhythm there in our class, like we don't spend the entire class on the computer. So our focus today, we're going to look at how Greek and Rome has impacted Southern Europe. My favorite part about using technology is mostly being able to do it at my own pace, being able to control what time I'm doing, what classwork, and I could be doing it at any time that I want to. I think the biggest benefit is that that every student doesn't have to be working on the same thing at the same time. Um, differentiation is very difficult for teachers no matter that their uh, level of experience. And so being able to have um, technology where you can ha run programs that will adapt to students while they're learning um, and providing uh, choices for students to demonstrate mastery, I think that that's where blended learning will help um, our students be more successful and our teachers grow in their presentation of content. I think it helps prepare me for the future by getting me used to being working on my own time. Since everything's online and do like 11.59 and have different due dates, it's very independent. You get to work at your own pace. So I think that prepares us for the future because in college, nine times out of ten, you're going to have to take an online class at some time during your four years. So I feel like that's why it prepares us for the future.